Hello and welcome back Brigaders on the Fishing Brigade channel with me Rani Reinsen out of his crazy garage again for presenting you now finally the last video of the Scandinavian trip where we went to Sweden in our friend's house in a typical hütte on a beautiful stunning lake and uh, we had a super nice experience with a super old school boat and uh, well we got some fishes we had definitely super super good time on the water and I know it took a little while until I could finish finally the last video now but uh, even more I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy thank you very much for all the subscribers so far on the channel you are the best kisses outside all over the world to you guys and uh, like always like share subscribe and activate the bell so you're not missing up any coming up videos anymore and I hope you're gonna enjoy this last video from Sweden fishing for pikes out of an old school boat Thank you very much and watch the video and leave some comments down below if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you have any suggestions for whatever else, please let them there. I'm gonna give my best to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much and I wish you very much fun with the last video of Sweden. Okay, trying to show you a little bit around. Like it's really like a super small, tiny, hütten, typical Swedish house. Chimney in here, a little bit of a mess, I was sleeping here down because it was too cold. Upstairs and uh, yeah, here we have a nice little kitchen. Oh, we're starting the coffee. As you can see here, nice view already from here on the lake. Chill out area, but way too cold for us, at least at the moment. We have to heat up the house a little bit. Some very old school handmade by my friend's father and him, lures. For, as you can imagine then, here are some big pikes in these waters. Uh, super old school. And uh, yeah, this over there, outside here, here we go. Pike and perch heaven, it says like, at least. We will see what's gonna happen. We're gonna start now a little bit to prepare our stuff. Uh, having a coffee. There's a boat which was not moved eight years and get our fishing equipment get us warm clothes on some breakfast to take with us Here as you see guys in the background our house where we're staying at Palace Hütte And we're hitting down now the first time to the water back here To see what about is the boat? How is it going and uh, if we can use it if we have to fix it clean it or something our two shelter we found sort of like treasures island as well, like uh, old school equipment as well, like uh, for the fishing on the boat. Pelle got some classics. Abu killer. The woo, Abu woo, killer woo, here. Man. Meter pike. I can beat the on million it. dollar if I don't catch anything on this. Missing already some teeth. <laughs> okay, I'll show you this. At the house or what? Yeah, bro. This is an adventure, yeah. Look Getting old school equipment together, the gear. Yeah. Not too bad, isn't it? It's an experience for us as well, first. Okay, let's get the stuff ready and on the water. Actually pretty exciting now to set up everything with a small old 
plastic boat, uh, as you see, loaded with all the gear. Getting our lures, fishing equipment, everything ready, and hope we're gonna get some nice pikes, is what we're expecting here of these waters. And here we go, folks. We are arriving to the first Swedish waters. Here's our boat. Well, we'll see how this is gonna work out. Yeah. Oh, there's fish up there. Look. Yeah. Okay, finally the fishing brigade is on the water. So here, the first spot to go for it. See some pike. Oh, the is putting all his effort in the rowing air to get some big mamas on the hooks today. Yeah. Fantastic. Of course, it was not a live bite, but yeah, we yeah, got at least one. To find the right thing. Looky, looky, looky! First Swedish pike. Yeah, man. In uh, Lake Lillian, Dalarna, Sweden. Woo! Sick on the jig. Yeah, beauty, bro. Woo, woo, woo. Here we go, first pike. Say 45 centimeters. Big smile. Yeah. Smiley. Woo. Color. Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm on my own. My colleague, my partner of the fishing brigade of this trip, Norway and Sweden, left today. The conditions, how you see as well from yesterday, changed a lot again. It's again cloudy and quite cold, a little bit of wind, it was raining in between and the last two days we had sunshine. The biggest problem is that the days before it was like still quite warm and it dropped in two days like from 21 degrees to about 8, 9 during the day. So of course it's affecting a lot the fishing, how you guys know. So it was really a difficult fishing so far. Back on the boat here in the back on myself today and I'm gonna give it a go again. A floater system, spinning, all those types, everything what I have with me, wobblers and every kind of jigging as well and all that. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try today. Weather seems to be stable now, so I hope it's gonna affect the fishing in a positive way. And yeah, I'm really looking forward, trying to give my best to entertain you guys out there. When we're gonna finish this trip here, we're gonna see us back then in my home territory, which is Fuerteventura, the Canary Islands. There we're gonna have a completely different type of fishing. We're gonna go to Gran Canaria for some bass fishing, we're gonna have kayak fishing, but in the ocean, in the Atlantic Ocean, in the beautiful one. And yeah, so I am really honored that you guys been following so far. It's maybe not the best film material that I have so far, but it's like my first journey and my first starting of filming. So I hope you 
please uh, understand that there are maybe some mistakes in it. And yeah, I'm gonna set up the boat now for everything and I will say we we'll see us in a little bit on the water. Okay guys, a little change for the moment eh, because it's coming a really serious weather situation in here. I was ready rigging everything up and getting ready to be on the water but at the end like the rain is coming in and a lot of wind so yeah let's see uh, what we can do because it's again Sweden and it's really cold and yeah it's not really that much fun for the moment at least. I will see what I can do. We'll wait a little bit maybe it's gonna finish in a bit and then hope I can bring you on the water today. But it's always like this you're ready you want to go and then something like that is always happening. Yeah as you can see I'm still waiting and waiting and waiting because the rain doesn't stop today. So yeah, let's hope and see if it's gonna turn a little bit because yeah, what should I say? That's life, that's fishing as well. This is like always what I'm saying as well, fish the experience and the experience is fishing you. There we have it, it's Sweden with rain all over the place. That's how it is, this is fishing. I know there are gonna be a lot of guys of you outside there saying like, oh no, a little bit of rain, he doesn't wanna go out. No, yeah, the thing is that it's, uh, it's really cold and uh, I'm not looking forward to sit alone in the boat the whole day raining because it's not really fun. Fishing is always fun but not in these conditions because I am living in the Canary Islands since 8 years and that amount of rain what I had in the last 3 months being here in Norway and now in Sweden I think it would rain in around 30 years back home and uh, then also it's warm when it's raining it's not like cold freezing like here so yes we are gonna see where we are gonna end up. As you know my city try to make the best out of it and I've been doing I catch the small red eye before and I put it on a Pazamastra system with a floater I just dropped it up here in front I'm gonna zoom in for you guys there we are over here just in front <coughs> and I let it stay almost at the bottom with a floater and uh, yeah we might see if we get some natural bait something on today it's the only possibility so far at the moment to fish, so I hope I hope this is working out. Mm, didn't do this type of fishing with natural bait for a very long time, but um, yeah, the basics are there. So let's see if we find a nice pike who's interesting and hungry at the same time. Fishing time! Good morning! Our last day arrived in Sweden. Last day of fishing after yesterday where you saw that the weather was not the perfect condition. Uh, today it looks very very epic to be honest. Yeah, it's like blue sky already outside. Very very cold. It was about like zero degrees tonight. But um, anyways, sun is out. Gonna get ready, breakfast, picking up all the fishing gear, making the boat ready and going out there because I think today we should give it a go on everything what we have. We're gonna fire all the lures that we have to try to get our last opportunity to get our personal best pike and uh, purchase out there as well. So what else do we, do we want? Nothing. Eh? It was a long journey, it was a long trip, it was a beautiful time in Norway, a beautiful time here in, in Sweden as well and uh, everything has an end. Three months, three and a half months passed by and uh, this is what is left. Last day now. If everything goes right today we're gonna get some nice nice fishes for a lens for us and everything like that. So stay tuned. As you hear in the background, coffee's going through. Gonna get ready, breakfast, and we go on the water. Boom! Okay, day number three. Just getting ready, spinning agent, jigs. Trying to get the big mamas and uh, killer, killer mania. Killer mania is on. So finally, in the third day of fishing, our third pike, Swedish pike, 
There we go. Yeah. Azox. On spinner blade. Didn't want anything else but spinner blade, he took it at the end. Finally, long, long day of fishing. And we got it finally. Double spinner blade. Took it. Just here, almost a land. Epic. Let's see. I would say 55 centimeters in length. And it is 57. Yep, yep. 57. So far, our biggest pike. Nice. Woo. Except mine that we didn't measure. Yeah, turn off, this, <laughs> turn off this camera. You wanna keep it or no? No. You wanna keep it? No. Okay, guys. A very, very long day is finishing today. But, anyways, um, I'm very happy that you've been uh, joining us or join me, us as well, because before I've been a lot of other people with a fishing brigade as well on tour. And uh, next episode, we're gonna see us back in Fuerte Ventura, warm, in board shorts, on a kayak, probably on the water. So yes, thank you very much. Liking, sharing, subscribe would be fantastic. I'm out, I'm freezing. We're just putting the boat now back in. We have to clean it out, packing all the stuff that we have here and pack our stuff and hitting to Stockholm. And this is how the story ends. This was summer 2018 fishing in Sweden, Norway. Stunning, was a good, good experience. A lot, a lot of nice people. And uh, yeah, this is it. Reinie Reinsen, Fishing Brigade. I'm out. See you next time. Boom.